that you are staying at home, you are probably aware that pandemic caused the unseen coronavirus causing COVID-19 has devastated the economic stability and changed the normal life into a new normal situation. Hello my dear students, welcome back to my YouTube channel. This is me, Teacher Tin, your science teacher for today's vlog. Hello mga scientists! Yes, sa pagkakataong to, you will be a scientist because in this vlog, you will understand the concept in conducting scientific investigation. Pero bago tayo magsimula, if you are new to this channel, don't forget to subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 7. is all about quarter one week one module one of science seven and this topic is all about components of scientific investigation but first you have to determine the different components that you will be using in conducting scientific investigations okay before we start let me show you this picture Okay, if you are holding your module in grade 7, science 7 for quarter 1, week 1, this is the first picture that you can see in your module. So, ano ba yung napapansin nyo dito sa picture na to? Ano ang meron dyan? Okay, I will give you 5 seconds to think and to describe this picture. Okay, what do you observe in this picture? Masasabi nyo ba na merong problema sa picture na to? Kung yes ang sagot mo, ibig sabihin, uh, aware ka sa kung ano ang nangyayari sa ating mundo. Particularly in our country, the Philippines. Yan. So sa panahon ngayon, may makikita tayo na ay andyan ang pandemic, si coronavirus, at nandyan din ang mga natural disasters, kagaya ng lindol, ng bagyo, ng pagbaha, and everything. Now, if I'm going to ask you, ano kaya ang magandang solusyon sa mga problema ito? Cost of debts, loss of jobs, shutdown ng mga business, and virtual classes. These are the causes, or ito lang ay isa sa mga naging epekto ng nararanasan nating pandemic or ng dinulot ng COVID-19 sa panahon ngayon. But basically, as of today, you will experience its effect dahil ayan na nga, nag-aaral kayo sa bahay, nag-online class, nag-module kayo sa bahay. Ano, isa lang yan sa mga naging effect ng coronavirus. Mahirap ba? O sa panahon ngayon, na-appreciate nyo na na nag-aaral kayo sa loob ng inyong tahanan? Ano man ang nararamdaman nyo, ano man ang nararamdaman ng bawat isa, ay okay lang yan. It's normal. At ngayon, i-analyze natin ang nangyayaring sitwasyon sa ating paligid at sa pamagitan nito ay maari natin na ma-determine at malaman natin ano-ano ba ang components ng scientific investigation. Scientific investigation and that will be our topic for today's module or for today's vlog. When we say scientific investigation, we are referring to the systematic method of solving problems around us. Okay, meron akong ipapakita sa inyong illustrations. Yan. Ito rin yung makikita nyo sa module nyo sa week 1 ng Science 7. Ngayon, what do you think are the possible researchable problems in the given illustrations? Yan, ano ba nakikita nyo sa first picture? Para siyang smoke or pollution, air pollution. Okay, and then the other one, and the second and the third picture, and we also have here. So, isip kayo, ano ba ang pwede nating maging problem? Ano yung magandang i-research ng problem tungkol sa illustrations na to? Okay, so for learning task number one, so, given dito yung available data, yung available data, this is the column A. 
and column B, this is the possible problem. So, mapapansin nyo sa column A, meron ditong 10 available data. At dito naman sa column B ay meron katro tayong possible problems. So, ang gagawin nyo sa learning test number 1 is pupunan nyo lang itong nakalagay dito na I think that the problem is. And then, I identified the said problem based on the following data. So, dito sa first statement, pipili lang kayo ng isa from column B which are possible problems. At yung possible problems dyan, so we have number 1, positive cases for COVID-19 infection increases. Number two, there are no donations or relief goods received by two families in one of the isolated barangays in Calabarzon. And third possible problem, people are arrested by policemen and authorities. So again, you will just choose one. And then, doon sa pangalawa, I identify the said problem based on the following data. Pipili naman kayo dito sa sampung nandito sa available data. Okay, so for example, okay, mauna na ako ha, let's say, for example, for number one, ang pinili ko na lang ay, I think that the possible problem is positive cases for COVID-19 infection increases. So, yun ang ilalagay ko dito. And then, ano ilalagay ko dito? Sabi ay, pumili daw ako ng tatlong available data that will support the said possible problem. Pili ako sa available data. So, pwede kong piliin ay yung statement number Five, malls and other businesses are limited in their operations. Okay, it will support my problem. And then, another one, your statement number seven. Sabi sa statement number seven, everybody is advised to wear face mask, personal protective equipment, practice social distancing, wash hands, sanitize using alcohol, and bring quarantine pass when going out if necessary. And... Mer ang aking available number 3 available data number 3 that will support my problem pwede kong piliin yung statement number 9 a pandemic was this ano to? a pandemic was declared by the World Health Organ Organization due to COVID-19 so I think those are the possible the available data that will support the that will support my answer from the choices in column B ano po? So, ganun din yung gagawin nyo. So, kayo naman, for example, yung pinili nyo naman yung uh, uh, problem number 2. Ano kaya yung mga 3 data that will support your answer? That will support your problem? So, ikaw naman. Okay. There are 6 components that you need to understand in scientific investigation. Ano-ano ba yung anin na yun? Meron tayong 6 steps para maalala at ma-remember natin. At ito yung may acronym na PDHECA. Okay, tandaan nyo. P, D, H, E, C, and K. Para saan yung PDHECA? Okay, yan yung anim na steps in doing scientific or in conducting scientific investigation. P stands for problem. D for data. H for hypothesis. E for experiment. C for conclusion and A for application. That's why we have the PD HECA. Let's now explain the six steps in conducting scientific investigation. So let's start with letter P, which is the problem. Ang mga scientists, tanong yan ang tanong. A good scientist will ask a lot of questions. Tandaan niyo yan. So kung masyado kang matanong, ibig sabihin, magaling kang scientist. Dito nagsisimula ang pagkukonduct natin ng scientific investigation. Kailangan natin magkaroon ng thorough observation. Yan. Kailangan nyo mag-observe sa paligid. Kailangan nyo mag-rely sa kung anong data ang meron tayo. At syempre, sa problem, kailangan natin gumamit ng five senses. Ano ba yung senses natin? Ang dyan yung smelling, ang dyan yung hearing, ang dyan yung seeing, touching, and feeling. Okay, kaya kinakakailanganin natin yan to observe the things around us. And again, we have to ask a lot of questions. At kapag nagkaroon na tayo ng observation, di ba sabi nga natin magtatanong ka? Kasi after observation, andyan naman yung pagtatanong. Okay, and this is uh, the start now of your statement of the problem. Okay. So let's say for example, you want to plant a tomato. Kaya lang naging problema mo, hindi siya tumataas ng 
mataas. Lagi lang siyang mababa lang, tapos nalalanta na agad and what. So, nag-observe ka sa paligid, nagtanong-tanong ka, and then nag-come up ka sa isang study, sa isang problem, na ay, kailangan ko pala siyang lagyan ng fertilizer, for example. So, para ang naging problema mo ngayon ay the effect of fertilizer in the growth of tomato plant. Yan. Yan yung naging problem mo ngayon. Now, that is our first step. Letter P, the problem. Okay? Now, let's proceed with letter D, which is the data. Pag sinabing data, we are gathering data in terms of, or in a form of research. So, kailangan mo munang magbasa-basa, magtanong-tanong, mag-interview tungkol sa gagawin mong problem. So, naisip mo na, ay baka naman kulang sa fertilizer. Yung ginagawa kong pagpapataas ng uh, growth ng tomato plant. So, nagtanong ka sa mga expert tungkol sa paghahalaman. Nagbasa-basa ka tungkol sa uh, how to grow a tomato plant. Ayan. So, you have to gather data. Ano? Kaya nga, second step, we have the data. So, kailangan mong kalapin ang mga informasyon tungkol sa kung paano mo mas mapapaganda at magiging successful yung experiment mo. Now, let's proceed with the third step, which is the letter H, hypothesis. Ano pag sinabing hypothesis? Hypothesis, it means scientific guess. We are going to formulate hypothesis. Educated guess, scientific guess. So, ano ba yung pwede mong maisip na ano yung magiging pula mo na kumbaga dapat ito yung mapuprove natin sa hulihan kung tama ba o mali. So, tandaan na kapag sinabing hypothesis, it should be test at testable. Pwede natin siyang ma-prove kung mali o tama. So, sa pagkakataon to, kung ang problem mo ay the effect of fertilizer in the growth of tomato plants, pwede natin sabihin ang hypothesis natin ay the tomato plant will grow taller with the use of fertilizer. So, positive yung hypothesis mo na lalaki at lalaking maganda at mayabong at mataas ang height ng iyong tomato plant using fertilizer. Okay? At syempre, kailangan, ano din, ano, dapat indicated din kung anong klaseng fertilizer yun. Ano? So, hindi lang basta uh, the effect of fertilizer in the growth of tomato plant, for example. So, sabihin na natin na gumamit ka ng coffee as fertilizer. The effect of coffee as fertilizer in the growth of tomato plant. Now, ano yung pang-apat na step? We have letter E, the experiment. Yan. I know you are familiar with experiment and it is understandable. When we say experiment, we are going to do the experimentation. So, para saan bang experiment? Ang experiment, kailangan natin i-perform ang experiment para ma-prove natin kung tama ba yung hypothesis natin. Ano nga yung hypothesis natin? Kung epektibo ba yung coffee fertilizer para sa pagpapalaki at pagpapaganda ng tomato plant. So, kaya kailangan natin i-perform ang experiment. Now, again, when we say experiment, this is a test that will prove or disprove the hypothesis. And, of course, always remember that a good scientist will conduct an experiment more than once to double-check their work. Hindi pwedeng isang beses lang. So, kinakailangan madaming beses kang magperperform ng experiment. So, hindi pwedeng sa isang paso lang ikaw kukuha and nalalagay mo ng coffee fertilizer. Hindi pwede. Dapat marami kang set up. Kasi the more na marami kang set up, the more na mas makikita natin na reliable yung magiging result ng ating experiment. At doon natin malalaman kung i-disprove ba natin or i-approve ang ating hypothesis. Okay, so and remember that in testing the experiment, we have the variables. May tinatawag tayong variables. At napaka-importante nito, variables are great importance. Ano ba pag sinabing variables? A variable is any item, factor, or condition that can be controlled or change. Yan. Pwede baguhin, pwede nating uh, wag galawin. Ano? So, yun yung variable. At sa pagkakataong yun, ano ba yung variable natin dun sa ating problem? The effect 
of coffee fertilizer in the growth of tomato plants. Ano yung ating variable doon? Yan. Nandun yung ating, ang variable natin dyan is yung coffee fertilizer at yung ating height na plant. Andyan ang ating fert, ang ating ano nga ito, variable. So, yan. Ang meron yung kaaralan, ano ba yung iba't ibang type ng variable. And of course, pag na-perform na natin ang ating experiment, we have step number 5, letter C, which is the conclusion. What is conclusion? When we say conclusion, this make a statement that accept or reject the hypothesis. Dito na natin sasabihin kung, kung nireject ba natin o inaccept ang hypothesis. So, syempre, magre-rely tayo dun sa ginawa nating experiment kung alin ba ang mas naging effective. Yun bang plant na walang coffee fertilizer or yung plant na merong coffee fertilizer. Okay, and then, the scientist or ikaw, as a scientist, will report his or findings so that others may know what you find out. And of course, letter A, step number 6, we have the application. When we say application, you have to put something into, into use or operation based from the outcome of the experiment. Ano, pag sabing application, ito na yung pagkakataon na kailangan natin i-apply yung natutunan natin from that experiment. Lalo na kung naging effective naman pala si coffee fertilizer doon sa pag-grow ng inyong tomato plant. Okay, so those are the steps in conducting scientific investigation. Again, in understanding the different components, you can develop as many words as you can which are related with the components of scientific investigation. Ano nga ulit yun? We have the P, D, H, K. P for problem, D for data, H for, uh, H for hypothesis, E for experiment, C for conclusion, and A for application. This is the end of our lesson vlog in Science 7. Yes, Science 7 naman tayo ngayon. Quarter 1, Week 1. So, in our next video sa Science 7, I will discuss the uh, Week 2. Ano, yung Week 2 naman natin, ang topic natin is all about elements and compounds. So, I hope you stay tuned in this channel para sa mas updated pa na video. At magkakaroon nga rin pala ako ng separate explanation about your learning tasks sa week 1. So, abangan and ayan. Kung bago ka pa lang, syempre, huwag kalimutang mag-subscribe, like, and hit the notification bell for more updates in Science 7. Bye! This is Teacher Tin, your science teacher. Oi, nag-subscribe ka na? Subscribe ka muna!